Greenridge! I am coming to you today for a special assembly and I'm coming to you as our school's LGBT champion. Now you will remember from a previous assembly that LGBT stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender. And February is LGBT History Month. It is a time when we can reflect and celebrate members of the LGBT community and allies of the community who have made significant contributions to society and changed the world for the better. We study history in school so that we can develop a better understanding of the world that we live in. Understanding the past helps us to understand the present and therefore make better changes for the future. LGBT people exist and they always will exist and always have existed. And there are many people in that community that have made significant contributions to society. However, they haven't always, there have been times when they have been discriminated against and treated badly rather than celebrated. The theme for LGBT History Month this year is Body, Mind, Spirit. And in the spirit of this, I am going to talk to you about some LGBT role models and then I'm going to launch the competition that you can take part in during half term. When I think about body, I think about how we can celebrate our body and promote our bodies being healthy and that brought to mind sports and exercise and I'm going to introduce you to an LGBT role model that you might be familiar with because they were the theme for the first certificate in Become a Green Ridge Athlete. This is Nicola Adams. She is a boxer and she also identifies as a lesbian. Now she has competed in the Olympic Games and she has won two gold, med gold medals for Great Britain. Now, not only has she done that, but she was also the first openly LGBT person to win a gold medal at the Olympics. There can still be high levels of unkind behavior towards LGBT sports people. However, Nicola Adams did not let that stop her becoming a champion. We also have John Curry. Now, John Curry is, was an Olympic athlete, a bit further back than Nicola Adams. And he was a figure skater who was known in the figure skating world for introducing ballet and modern dance into his routines. Now, he didn't come out as gay until after he had competed in the Olympics. However, when he had retired as an athlete, he then went on to coach other athletes and choreograph routines for further Olympic routines. We then have Kate Richardson Walsh. Now, Kate Richardson Walsh, she is a bronze and gold medal winning champion in field hockey. And her and her wife were the first same sex couple to compete and win in an Olympic Games together. And finally, we have Sir Lee Pearson. Now, Sir Lee Pearson is a Paralympian. He competes in dressage and, and other horse related events in the Paralympics. And he is an 11 times Paralympic Games gold medalist. So he has won 11 gold medals for Great Britain. He was also the first openly gay person to carry the British flag in a Paralympic and Olympic Games. And he did this in Rio in 2016. Now, while we're thinking about mind, I want to think about someone who really did make significant contributions to society. But to do this, we're going to go right back, back about 149 years to when this person was born. Now this, is Catherine Duleep Singh and she was the daughter of um, an Indian royalty and she was also the goddaughter of Queen Victoria. Now she lived in London and she realised that women were not being treated equally, that they were not being treated fairly and there were a lot of, a lot of things in society that women weren't allowed to do. So she was an integral part of a movement with the suffragettes who fought really hard and gained the vote for women in England, in, in the UK. Now, not only did she fight for this, but she also moved to Germany with her partner, who happened to be female, and she moved to Germany at a time when people who were different were not being treated very nicely. Catherine rescued a lot of 
Jewish people from Germany, she kept them safe and she kept them out of harm's way, despite the fact that she also could have been treated badly because of the colour of her skin and because of who her partner was. She was so brave and without her, life for women now in our country could have been very different. Now, I am choosing to interpret spirit as a positive attitude. If you have positive spirit, you are happy, you are thinking happy things and promoting happy things. And as LGBT month is a time for celebration, I'm going to launch our competition, which involves spirit. Now, every year there is a new LGBT badge, sorry, LGBT history month badge. And this is the one for this year. And as you can see, it depicts mind, spirit and body with the LGBT 2021 and history month at the bottom. Now your challenge, and we're going to send you out a blank version of this, is to design a different LGBT history month 2021 badge. Now remember, the theme is mind, body, spirit. So you might want to have a think about different ways you can represent those things. Or you might want to have a think of different ways that you can represent the LGBT community, all in a badge. Have fun and submit your um, applications, your designs to lgbtchampion at greenridgeacademy.co.uk and I will have a look through them. We will be picking a winner from each year group and those children will receive an LGBT History Month certificate. Enjoy and I cannot wait to see all of your designs. Happy half term!